The audit log in QuickBooks is an amazing tool for administrators because it lists all of the user activity in a company file. So you can see things like who logged into a company file, who logged out, who made changes to a particular customer, vendor or employee information or who created a transaction or made edits to them. To access the audit log, you can go to the settings option and select the audit log. You can also access the audit log from the reports menu. You can see here that it lists all of the user activities and it gives you the date of the user activity, the username, the event, as well as the complete history of the event. You can use the filter options in the audit trail to narrow down your search if you are looking for actions by a particular user and you can do so here. The audit log notes down the date on which the change was made, the user who made the change, the event as well as the history of the event. The audit log displays the recent 150 items by default. If you click on the view option from the history column, you will be able to view all of the changes that have been made to a particular transaction or a form or a customer or vendor and the type of change that has been made along with the date on which the change was made. The history section can be used to figure out indirect edits that is edits made by another user on a previously created transaction or customer or vendor. Let's come back to the filters in the audit log and you can see that there's an option to filter by the user and here you have all users which is all of the users in the company but you also have online banking administration now these are the changes that are automatically made by the online bank account that you have linked with quickbooks online then you have support representative which will show all of the changes made by customer support from Intuit and lastly you have the system administration which is related to changes made by third party applications that you have connected with QuickBooks or with automatic changes because of reoccurring transactions that you have created. You may also have the import administration as a user option and that is only when you have migrated your data from QuickBooks desktop to QuickBooks online. In that case import administration will be displayed as the user who made that change. Let's say John, a QuickBooks user at your company made a change and deleted a particular check and that seems entirely fishy and you'd want to ask John why that change was made. To figure out John made that change, you can use the audit log, look at the date the change was made, what type of change was made and the user that made that change. Another noteworthy thing here is that the trial balance is completely different from the chart of accounts and the general journal. Whereas the chart of accounts lists all of the accounts in your company and the general journal lists all of the transactions in chronological order, the audit log lists all of the user activity that took place in your company. So it isn't something that you would review for transactional or accounting purposes, but rather for security and administrative purposes. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask us in the comment section below. And if you found the video helpful, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content on QuickBooks and other accounting software.